is a multi-talented artist with a keen passion for visual art, literature, and music. She holds a Bachelor of Fine Arts degree, major in creative writing from the Ateneo de Manila University. She also plays the clarinet and has performed for group shows in Europe and Asia. She has also staged art exhibits showcasing her creative talent. Well, as if that's not enough, she also has written an inspirational book called Life Through Letters, A Writer's Journey from Sunset to Sunrise. Joining me now is Beatriz Robles to talk about her new book that will surely tease your imagination. So welcome to the studio. Thank you. You are such an artist dabbling into different fields. You have um, play, you play the clarinet, mm -hmm. you paint, and you write books. How do you juggle that all? Well, I've always believed that uh, they're all one thing. It's all art. The writing, the music, the painting. So it's, it's all It's all self-expression. Yes. And who is Beatrice Robles? Gosh, that is a pretty hard <laughs> question to start with. But I think that's that kind of fits in the quote I love and I live by. Ars longa vita brevis me hypocrites. Life is short, art is eternal. So, life is short, art, art is, is eternal. Wow, beautiful. Let's talk about the art that you created. This um, book right yeah, here, Essential uh, World. Second. Tell us about um, what you've written there and mm -hmm. What can we expect from the book? Uh, it's published by Anvil. I'm very grateful to Anvil Publishing and National Bookstore Power Books. Uh, I guess, uh, of course, it's in the title. It's a sensual book. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but it all depends on what you're thinking. Since uh, I guess I was thinking creative also, so I wanted to have two aspects to it. You can think either objective or sensual. So every vignette that is included in the book has a sensual answer or an objective answer. And what are you feeling? in that book exactly are these life experiences are these objects images uh, basically something i want a lot of people to relate to so i'm thinking about everyday things so it, it can be like 24 hours in a day maybe mm -hmm. some of the things that you encounter in this book how important is it to be sensual to everything around us isn't it can't it transcend to like sometimes being too aware might lead to overthinking or it might lead to being negative or is it a totally a different experience for you? Well, overthinking, I have to admit, has <laughs> made me uh, a little negative and it uh, can get you. But mm -hmm. I still think that when you get to the details, I mean, every professor or mentor I've ever had in writing has always told me that you really have to make the person, bring them to your place, make them uh, arrive. So when when you're alert and you feel, you see, you hear, you, uh -huh. I think that's the best way to live. And you like describing things as they are, taking the readers through the certain experience. Yes, bring them there, take them there to the place. Let's um, talk about the image at the front of the book. Tell us about that. Actually, this image was a sketch I was just making one day, and then suddenly, when I looked at it, I realized that I could take the image and make it an entire concept, and it be that image became mm -hmm. the book. So the, this cover image was really the start of the book. Is itself. it an erotic image? <laughs> a little well, bit. <laughs> my father, um, René Robles, is a known painter. He's always uh, been doing nude paintings. He's also known for his nude paintings, mm -hmm. and I've appreciated the, the, them since I was a kid. So. Um, when I was drawing a question mark, I'm thinking like, how can I make this a little different? So, uh, when I made the question mark, instead of making it just a dot or a mm -hmm. look like a period, it ended up becoming a butt. So, <gasps> there you go. Mm -hmm. oh. uh, it's a butt. Yes. Oh, okay. It's, uh, okay. it's a, a woman's form. If you can look at it, mm. it's a woman's form. And so. in writing the book, what are some discoveries that you've had? Like um, enlightening discoveries about the things that you see. Take us through maybe one or two? Well, since I, because, well, I've always loved the metaphor and the simile, I mean, using figures of speech when you're writing, and I realize that there are different ways they apply these figures of speech, like metaphor, it can go even deeper. So when I was um, thinking of a way to, let's say, to, let's describe it, brushing your teeth in the morning, mm -hmm. <laughs> I suddenly realized it doesn't just have to be talking, uh, let's say, uh, I'm putting a toothbrush in my mouth, but then you take it to another level when you use the metaphor. So that's how I, I got to the idea of uh, a central world. What do you see? And what, is, with the what is so beautiful about 
that mundane thing about brushing your teeth? Well, I guess, in a way, it kind of reminds me of my father's uh, art movement, assertionism. It means art that asserts, transforms, and transcends. So he, take, he takes ordinary objects like chairs, tables, and then for him, it, when he focuses on these ordinary objects and he makes them art, they're no longer just a simple chair or table, mm -hmm. but he, it gives them importance. So um, thinking about just brushing your teeth in the morning, if you give it that uh, deeper meaning, it becomes even more important. It transcends, yes. It becomes, and it makes it becomes more meaningful yeah. to you. Simple so. things that we do every day realize are actually even more important than we think that they may be. Where does this come from? I mean, why create such a book in order to make people feel? Well, for me, the genre of um, well, sensual genres, I always thought that that was one of the, I guess, most interesting forms of writing for me because it's not just them taking you, the writers, to a different place, but you're even they can uh, come to a point that you're stimulated, your body can feel yourself mm -hmm. shivering or uh, you're breathing heavier. So I always thought that if you can do that kind of writing, why not? Because you can really make the person feel as much as they can. When do you think that we have a lack of feeling nowadays? Like we are, we can be detached to experiences because of the technologies that we have? Is it? Is yeah, it I, I do have to there? admit that I am really not a techno person. Uh -huh. So I'm back at. I like to write uh -huh. old style. So even this book, a lot of it was in diaries and journals, and then I had to try put it on the computer. Type now you told me that some of the writing here was inspired by your stint in FHM, right? Yeah, yes, in writing for magazines and contributing. How did that inspire you exactly? Well, of course, um, knowing FHM and Men's Magazine, mm -hmm. the kind of articles that you requested uh, when I was contributing for them were, of course, uh, sexual, <laughs> sensual <laughs> articles. So, Can we find any uh, of that there? I'm sure. uh, I, I guess so in ways, but of course theirs were very straight, so uh -huh. this is more um, literary. More, so, more. Yeah, literary. Yeah. All right. Um, you, you're dabbling into painting, into music, and into writing. Yeah, like my artwork is actually in the book as well. How does that all go together for you? Well, as I mentioned earlier, when you first asked me who is Bayer Robles, uh, I really believe that all those th things are one one thing. So, uh, writing, uh, playing the clarinet, and uh, painting, it, it, it all just seems like one thing for me. So, I, when they tell me what are your passions, I think it's like one passion. I really don't... Mm -hmm. it, it seems seamless. What is and your advocacy as a writer, as an artist? Oh, like I told you earlier, who Beatrice Robles is, it, it really is that uh, quote from Hippocrates, mm -hmm. life is short, art is eternal. It's to promote art Because, it, I mean, it's true that life is short. I mean, how long are we here? But if you create things, they get left behind. And then that is what contributes to the culture. And so it's really leave, leaving your footprints on society, yeah. being able to um, craft those experiences and contribute it to people for them to comprehend. Yeah, I love the idea of um, enriching culture, mm. leaving that enrichment. Of okay, culture. now I know that um, you were in Ateneo. I you graduated from Ateneo. You uh, were about a decade ago. From, um, yeah. Economics honors, and you shifted. You, you were yeah. telling me earlier that you shifted from that course. Yes, from to, go on. to creative writing to fine arts. You know, how has the journey been for you as an artist? Because people, a lot of people are, you know, having a difficult time getting into that career because it might seem not financially viable, but. How was how has your experience been so far? I realize if you really have a passion for something, you'll survive. You'll get there because your work does not. It's not work anymore. It's it's what you enjoy. And so you keep on. Even if you're pushing yourself, you won't even notice that you are more and more. And then, the, of course, the, and it comes. Work, the yeah, money it comes after. Yes, so, what would be your advice to to young artists out there who are still? struggling to, to find their old don't, don't let go. Don't let go. If you really know that's your love, you'll get there. And we're happy to see all these artworks from you. You have been internationally recognized <laughs> for, for music, for your paintings, and soon enough, your book. Um, maybe invite um, oh, yes, our I audience. Know. Where can um, they find the formal book launching of the book will be in Power Book Screen Belt for mm -hmm. on January the 30th at 4 p.m. So I hope anyone, please, if you'd like can to they buy it in all the bookstores or yes, just um, Power Books? Power Books and National Bookstore. All, all right. right.
there you have it. Thank you so much. It was nice knowing about your story and I um, really hope um, to read the book. I would love to to see through what, you know, I would love to undergo the experience that you would take me to by describing the sensual feelings of your sensual world. <laughs> Thank you very much. All right, now for those of you just getting ready to hit the road this morning,